Mm. The the problem with what Tim Pool says about the Avi Yemeni controversy, um, he should have realized this is quite obvious. Avi Yemeni admits that he wore some kind of recording device, some kind of camera or a small recording device, right, to the Jim Jeffries interview. And he told them they are not allowed to splice the video, they're not allowed to um, have neo-Nazis in the video, but they did all that anyway. And Avi, apparently Tim Poole believes that Avi was shocked and all this other stuff. Uh, Jim Jeffries, he, he wants to make the interview look like it came after Christchurch, whereas it was actually done months ago. It, yes, that that's wrong. That he, People should know that. Of course, he's, you know, so um, Tim Pool uh, is saying this is like Comedy Central. It's just a, a joke, you know, letting us know that this is like a fake interview. It's like InfoWars or, or something like that, you know, um, Rebel Media or whatever. You know, they're like extreme and, and very uh, entertaining, but not factual, right? So Abby got upset, I guess. He made some kind of um, reaction video to that kind of collaboration with Jim Jeffries, but um, he knew they, I guess they were going to do that. And he did not let them know that he had some kind of recording device, a camera, a phone, or what, whatever it was. So couldn't Abby just have feigned shock that they were saying, laughing, that Muslim babies got killed? Couldn't Abby just, maybe he's shocked for real, but shocked in a, in a way that, oh, I can't believe you guys think the way I do. Because we've heard Avi in um, the SC, the um, Speaker's Corner. You know, he doesn't mind shooting um, Muslim children. He doesn't mind shooting innocent people in the back and what have you. Apparently he doesn't mind that. So would he actually really be shocked that, you know, someone was joking? Remember, he knew that he was recording, even though they didn't know that. You know, Tim Pool, um, Avi Yemeni um, doesn't mind uh, showing the whole world that he's an Islamophobe. He doesn't mind telling the whole world that he is uh, an ex-soldier or he was a member of IDF or that he's shot at uh, Muslim children. He does not mind the whole world knows that. So uh, I don't think you know who Abba Yemeni is, obviously, because uh, he kind of did say that at the beginning. And um, Abba Yemeni, I call him the um, the Jewish tan, except he's dumber, okay? So I can see that he would fall for the onion or any other um, who thinks they are real news and that they're just trying to twist... Uh, facts to fit their narrative, right? He thinks that they are a real news channel, you know, a real interview, except that they're going to lie about what you said. That's what he thinks. Uh, Tim, you don't have to defend Avi Yemeni. You don't have to defend Avi Yemeni because he is a hater. He doesn't want to be defended. He doesn't need to be defended. He is proud of who he is. He is proud of being an Islamophobe. He is proud of being a hater. He is proud of being a racist. He supports the Israeli government completely, unconditionally, unreservedly. Um, so to be uh, absolutely fair, um, Tim Poole, he's the owner of Tim Cast, the channel. He doesn't know who Ab Yemeni is. Apparently he didn't do a search. He didn't watch any of Abby's uh, videos, his uh, hate speech, I don't know. But Tim Poole does say that he, he is not defending Abby Yemeni. He just doesn't know him. So um, I want to make that more obvious. And Tim Cast has many um, good points, right? But I, I recommend that he should watch Abby's videos. 
from Speaker's Corner because that really shows you when he confronts Ali Dawa, he was calling out Ali Dawa a terrorist, saying Muslims are terrorists and laughing and um, he's just a clown. But uh, he accuses Muslims of terrorism when he himself is a terrorist. He kills children. He kills young kids who throw stones. Anyone who thinks that is defensible is off the rocker. Okay, so I just, if you want to see the video of Tim Pool, okay, his channel on YouTube is Tim Cast. Um, see that video, it's a good video. Religion doesn't care about your feelings.